Hey guys, it's your boy Tristan, and welcome back to another Game Anchor video. Um, today we're going to be doing 3D collisions and jumping, so that'll be fun. So, first things first, um, Game Maker doesn't supply 3D collision functions. So, you know, we have, we have place meeting X, Y, and the solid, um, but we're going to want to do X, Y, and Z, but Game Maker doesn't have one of those, so we're going to make our own. So we're actually going to create a new script, and we're going to call it place meeting ext, like place meeting extended. So it's going to have z. So the idea is we give the script an x, y, z, and an object, and it will tell us if there is an object at those coordinates, x, y, and z. We're going to be making a couple of name changes. So basically, we'll, all we've done here is just, we've renamed our arguments into something that is easier to read. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through every single instance of this object parameter. So if I pass in parent solid, I'm going to loop through every single solid instance. And I'm going to do that like this. So this here, this with loop, just takes every single instance in the game of this object and it applies this stuff, this uh, stuff, inside the code block. So yeah, for now, the with loop is uh, looking pretty complicated, but I will have a link in the description for where you can copy and paste it, and I'll also have an explanation of how it works if you want to read it, but if not, just trust me. Um, to be honest with you, I, I wrote this quite a while ago, and I'm having uh, a little bit of trouble wrapping my head around it myself, but I'll definitely have a think about it and I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but anyway, at the end of it all, uh, so once the loop is finished and it's looped through every single instance of the object that you specify, and for each instance this condition has always failed, so we've never returned true and exited, we just say there is not a collision at this point with this object, so we're going to return false at the end. So that's that script. And now for the fun stuff. We're going to go to our step event and we're going to fix every single instance of place meeting with place meeting extended. So the easiest way to do this is to press control F and up here where it says find, you're going to type in place meeting and we're going to replace it with place meeting extended or place meeting ext and we're going to click replace all and then all occurrences of place meeting has been replaced with place meeting extended. And the only thing left now is to uh, type in Z after the Y. There is also a good way to do this. We could go like this. We could find all occurrences of comma space parent solid. If you're consistent with your coding, this will work. And you can type in comma Z comma parent solid. And that will correctly put a Z in everywhere, but only if you've been consistent with your coding. That's why it's good to be consistent. And I kind of screwed up the one that I did before. And now we've done all our collision checking in 3D. Let's just run it and see if it still works. Oh, and I've got an error. So I've made a mistake in the script. So if we open it up here, I've called one of them H HH, -H, but uh, I actually wanted to call it HL. So this is half width half length, and then this is h, and I must have written that l to not confuse with the h variable, because length and height I wanted to specify differently. So let's take a look. So as you can see, the game still works properly. Uh, it works exactly like it did before, but now if we want to, we can implement things like jumping and falling. Um, but first, um, I think we should probably put a floor in our little room. So let's do that now. This is um, somewhat of a neat little trick, and you can do this in a variety of different ways, and I'll go through them all in later episodes, but for now what we're going to do to put in a floor is we're going to put in a solid object. Uh, we're going to right click it and click creation code. And what we're going to type in here is z equals minus 32. What this creation code will do is it will change the creation code of this particular instance and only for this one instance of the object. And what we can do is we can drag it from corner to corner and this whole object has a Z of minus 32. So it'll be 
32 pixels beneath us. In later episodes, I'll go through the best way to do this, but for now, just do this. And you'll probably notice that I've set transparency for all my sprites, so it's easy to see what is where when you've got overlapping like this. So now if we run our game, there should be a floor beneath us. And yes, and uh, we will go through and change the H repeat and V repeat of the texture um, in the create event for the uh, parent solid object. We're just gonna type H repeat equals uh, image X scale. And the same for V repeat, but for Y. You're gonna wanna play around with H repeat and V repeat if you're doing some kind of more crazy things. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as image X scale and image Y scale. And instead of one and one in here, we're just gonna type H repeat and V repeat. Okay, so if we hop on over to the object player create event, we can make a few more variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called jump height right here, and I'm gonna set it to eight. And underneath the velocities, I'm gonna have Z velocity and that's gonna be initialized at zero. And finally, uh, a new variable will be grav, and this stands for gravity, and we're gonna have it as 0 0.5. In the step event, we're going to do a couple things with z velocity, first of all. What we can do is we can say, set z velocity to be affected by gravity. So first things first, we're going to want our z velocity to be decremented each step by gravity if we are not touching the ground. So first check is, if not place meeting extended x, y, z parent solid. So this basically means um, if we are touching the ground, oh, sorry, if we're not touching the ground, so if we're up in the air, then we're gonna let z velocity be decremented each step by gravity. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be able to press space to jump. So press space to jump. Now kind of the same principle here, we only want to be able to jump if we are on the ground. So this time we're going to go if place meeting extended x, y, z parent solid. So if we are on the ground then we're also going to want to check if uh, keyboard check pressed vk space and what we're going to do is we're just going to say z velocity plus equals because plus is up um, jump height that will do the jumping and finally what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to copy one of these uh, movement codes paste it and then we're just going to change everything with respect to z and that's it, that's all you need for the movement for Z. We should theoretically be able to take a look. Okay, so first things first, I'm noticing that we're not able to jump, so there must be something wrong in that jump code. So let's take a look. Um, okay, yes, if place meeting extended X, Y, and Z. So we're checking if we're on the ground. Now, I think for some reason we might have to go Z minus one. Uh, I have a feeling that just might be the reason. So we're gonna have another look. Yep, and that does it. So now we're able to jump on top of other blocks and uh, the floor works and um, well yeah. So that's 3D collisions guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So that's collisions over guys and uh, I'll see you in the next part and in the next part I think we might do a mini map.